Horses are on the track for the third race at DuCoin. Here are the starters. Number one, Michael's Warrior, owned by Mike Brink of Springfield, trained and driven by Dave Fagan. 1A, Clear Creek Page, owned by Carol Yeasel of Lincoln. Larry Leesman of Atlanta, trained by Mike Brink, the driver, Tom Simmons. Number two, Patetico, is scratched. Number three, Southside Hussey, owned by Dick Hess of Concord and Jeff Driscoll of Carrollton, trained by Jeff Driscoll. The driver is Michael Osting. Number four, Dance With Me, Rachel, owned by Tom Throgmorton of Carbondale, trained and driven by Joe Haught. Number five is Sporty Dandy, owned by Ray Hanna of Altamont, Richard Corson of St. Peter, and Bryce Geiler of Ken Mundy, Illinois, trained by Ray Hanna, Tony Morgan in the bike. And number six, M.A. Specta is scratched. Win, place, and exacto wagering only, no show wagering for these two-year-old Illinois-bred pacing fillies, less than three minutes to post. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Southside Hussey and Clear Creek Page come out to battle for the early lead. Clear Creek Page is there toward the inside. Now Southside Hussey begins to move by and takes the lead by a length and a half. Clear Creek Page goes second by three. Michael's Warrior is away racing in third. Dance With Me Rachel is fourth. And Sporty Dandy is fifth and last. They're all single file. They're being led by Southside Hussey by one length. Clear Creek Page is second by three. Michael's Warrior starts to close that gap from third. Then Dance With Me Rachel and Sporty Dandy is last. 28 and two for the opening quarter. Southside Hussey leads it. Michael Osting doing all he can to restrain that filly and get her to rate her speed. Clear Creek Page is next. Now Michael's Warrior a much closer third. Dance With Me Rachel is fourth. And Sporty Dandy continues to trail the field, but is right there. In fact, here comes Sporty Dandy off the rail from last, moving up into fourth on the outside, three lengths off the lead. Southside Hussey hits the halfway point in 59 and three-fifths seconds. So the pace was slowed considerably through the second quarter. Clear Creek Page is racing second. Sporty Dandy third on the outside. And then Michaels Warrior racing in fourth. Dance With Me Rachel trails the field, and they're midway on the final turn. Southside Hussey on top by one length. Clear Creek Page is second, a half length. Sporty Dandy inching forward third. Gap of three to Michaels Warrior. And Dance With Me Rachel is last. They're at the three quarters. South Side Hussey was there in 128 and 4. Osting has done a good job rating her through the mile to conserve something for the stretch. That means Sporty Dandy and Clear Creek Page have their work cut out for them to catch Southside Hussey, who's at the eighth pole, leading it by a length and a half. Sporty Dandy on the outside second. Clear Creek Page is third. Southside Hussey leads it by a length and a half. Sporty Dandy still second. Southside Hussey had plenty left in the tank. Just as Osting planned it, Southside Hussey wins it by two and a half. It was Sporty Dandy home second. Clear Creek Page was third. 156 and four was the time. In the third race, number three, Southside Hussey was first, the five, Sporty Dandy was second, and the 1A, Clear Creek Page, was third. Result unofficial. Result official, 351 official for the third race, 35 exact to $4.60. Into the winner's circle, here's number three, Southside Hussey, Michael Osting with the winning drive. Jeff Driscoll of Carrollton Trains and co-owns this cold muffler two-year-old filly. Dick Hess of Concord in the yellow shirt in the winner's circle is the co-owner as well. The winning filly bred by Cottonwood Farm Incorporated, her third win of the year, 156 and four. If you're not familiar with the name of Jeff Driscoll, he is a first cousin to guys like Sean Walker, 
and Hart Walker. If I remember the story correctly, I believe Jeff's mother is a sister to Bob, Tom, and Larry Walker of Carrollton. And Michael Losting out of Fremont, Michigan, has just scored his first ever DuCoin State Fair win as a driver. Michael, congratulations. Rundown is next.